I had done this podcast and the guy went and boarded, oh. bought my book. And then I guess he got something back saying that a uh, return received, a refund will appear in your original payment. I don't know what happened. He says, um, I'll purchase it on Kindle this week and you might want to see if there's something wrong with the order fulfillment process. I don't work for fucking Amazon. Are you kidding me? People complain to you about that? <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> leave me a uh, ghost that person. Do not send. Do not hit send on that okay. email. Okay, all right. I, well, I won't. I won't respond. Don't. Hit. If they can't figure out how to buy your book on Amazon, they shouldn't be talking to you. Yeah, if they can't figure out how to buy my book on Amazon, and then if they have a problem, they're gonna go to me. I mean, this is this is like. I remember one time I was gonna go. I was going to see um, one of the Marvel movies, and I um. I asked my friend to buy tickets and I showed up there at 7 p.m. when we said we were going to see the movie and he bought tickets for the wrong time. So I didn't call Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> and say, you should have. I bought tickets for 7 p.m., but somehow we got tickets for 3 p.m. and we missed it. Like something's wrong here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I didn't call Robert Downey Jr. and um, uh, Scarlett Johansson and tell them. <laughs> Yeah, when my car doesn't start, I don't call Henry Ford the <laughs> third and say there's something wrong. What is wrong with people? Why why would he contact you that he's having a problem with your book that now you have to call the biggest conglomerate <laughs> place in the world, Amazon, and get your book fixed? It's like if I went and bought like Keebler cookies and they were stale because the store had them so long. And I was like, let me talk to an elf. Right. Give me an Give elf me an on elf the phone now. right now. <laughs> but no, you're going to take on Amazon. What are you going to do? You can't I'm, even get past Amazon. The no, I, I, just hit, hit <laughs> order and then order it like everybody else does on Amazon. And if you have a problem with Amazon, I'm sure they have a customer service department. Why, why are you coming to me? I wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an author. <laughs> that is the greatest thing ever. The guy's going to call you and have you fix the problem because Amazon is having an issue with your book. I have no, I, don't, I am speechless. D I don't even do know what to say back to Do not respond to that email. Delete. There's some okay, emails that you don't even need to respond. You are on this guy's freaking podcast. Right. There's no reason for you ever to talk to him again. Yeah, you're right. He's on a podcast. He has. Mm, he I know it's. It, I, I know it's inexplicable. Like. <laughs> I. I, oh, I know. I don't even know what to say anymore with people. Every people, not just some I'll, people. Yeah. Every people. I, I, don't, I, mean, I, I don't. Yeah, I made the mistake of giving him my my contact information. Huh? I probably should have just. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you should do. Every time you do an interview, give them your, your all your information. Well, now he actually contacted me on on Twitter. It wasn't on my actual email. It's even worse. He's in my DMs. <sighs> I know. I'm expecting a dick pic. Instead, I get this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I gave you my DMs for dick pics, not for I'm not, not, the not, bitch not your at customer, me. not your personal customer service. Oh my god! 